Hi, hello. My name is Kiran Kumar. I am a physics lecturer. Today's topic is field view of fish and light escape from the water to air. We will discuss step by step. Welcome to my channel, Nature of Physics and Art. Before going to topic, please subscribe my channel, Nature of Physics and Art. And also please watch my previous videos part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4. This is the part 5 video. Try to understand step by step. And please watch complete video then you can easily understand. See, a fish at a depth H in a water that can see the outer world through a inverted cone of radius R and refractive index of water is mu that value is 4 by 3 when light is traveling from the denser medium to rarer medium it bend away from the normal when angle of incident increases angle of refraction also increases at particular angle of incident angle of refraction is 90 degrees that angle of incident is called critical angle then the angle of incident is greater than to the critical angle the ray is reflected into the same medium that phenomena is called total internal reflection here we are going to apply the critical angle and total internal reflection phenomena when light traveling from the source in a water to the air step by step we will discuss derivation see now this is the water that is taken in three dimensional diagram here this is the cone okay light traveling from the denser medium to rarer medium it bend away from the normal at particular angle of incident angle of refraction is 90 degrees so this is the critical angle c for this angle of refraction is 90 degrees okay try to understand here also opposite angles is same critical angle this is same and here r is the angle of refraction that is also 90 degrees that is grace is the surface separation of the air to the water so now here the fish which can observe the outer world in a inverted cone okay so now considering critical angle see here h is the depth of the water and r is the radius of the circular base see this is the r radius of the circular base and h is the height and total vertex angle is taken as 2c so this is c plus c that is taken as 2c try to understand now we are considering <coughs> Snell's law light traveling from the denser medium to rarer medium and the relation between the critical angle and refractive index of the water we know that formula that is sin c sin c which is equal to 1 by mu try to understand here considering this is the right angle triangle okay say this is the critical angle where sin c which is equal to opposite by hypotenuse then adjacent side value is mu square minus 1 okay for that we have to find the r r is the radius of the circular path that is radius of circular base of the cone try to understand that is half angle considering of the cone okay so then that value is tan c which is equal to opposite is radius r divided by adjacent side is h c c which is tan c r divided by h now here r which is equal to h into tan c what is the value from this tan c value that is tan c which is equal to opposite divided by adjacent side that is mu square minus 1 
the value is replacing here r is equal to h into 1 divided by root over mu square minus 1 so uh, rewriting that equation r which is equal to h divided by root over mu square minus 1 here r is the radius of the base circular path of the field view of the fish from the water to the air try to understand now we can discuss the applications also so first application that is here we are going to discuss first critical angle that is sin c which is equal to 1 by mu try to understand here mu which is equal to 4 by 3 for the water already we know light traveling from the water to the air okay so now here sine c which is equal to that is 1 divided by 4 by 3 that we can write simply 3 divided by 4 so here c which is equal to sine inverse of that is 0 0.75 the value of c which is equal to 48 point 59 degrees 48.59 degrees so the vertex angle we have to find here that vertex angle vertex angle that is 2c that's why here 2c which is equal to 48.56 into 2 that we can write approximately the value is 97.12 degrees. This is the vortex angle. Now we will discuss radius. See the radius value r which is equal to h divided by root over mu square minus 1 where mu value is equal to 4 by 3 try to understand where r is equal to h divided by root over that is 4 square that is 16 divided by 3 square is 9 minus 1 so r which is equal to after solving this 3h divided by root over 7 we will get root over sorry r is equal to 3h divided by root 7 value that is the radius with a refractive index of water value is taken as 4 by 3 and we can discuss third one see try to understand so that third one is taken now that is here r value that is radius of the circular base that is inverted cone now here that value area of the base area of base so that is area is equal to pi r square so area which is equal to pi into r value taken as h divided by root over mu square minus 1 so here we will get that area which is equal to pi into h square divided by mu square minus 1 here this is the area of the base now we will discuss escaping of light from the water to air from the source the source in a water step by step we will discuss this is the source s and light traveling from the denser medium to rarer medium at angle of incident for which angle of refraction is 90 degrees that angle is taken as 
critical angle try to understand here sin c which is equal to 1 by mu and r is equal to h divided by root over mu square minus 1 the values based on that we will discuss the escaping power of light from the source from water to the air see now that is solid angle so solid angle of cone with half angle c okay so for this the value is which is equal to solid angle of cone with of angle C. See for this solid angle which is equal to 2 pi 1 minus cos C. C is the critical angle. Try to understand. Now the escaping of light we are going to discuss that is power of escaping light from water to the air we will discuss that is here P escape of light to air which is equal to p divided by 4 pi into solid angle try to understand here p is the power of the source that is p is what here power of source here p is the power of the source try to understand the relation now that uh, so escape okay which is equal to p divided by 4 pi into 2 pi 1 minus cos c this value is get cancel c here p escape which is equal to p divided by 2 into 1 minus cos c see now cos c which is equal to root over 1 minus sin square c see that value which is equal to root over 1 minus sin square value sin square c value is 1 by mu square try to understand the value is replacing in the above equation escape of light which is equal to p divided by 2 into 1 minus cos c value is root over 1 minus 1 divided by mu square this is the power escape of light from the water to a now one example a large glass slab of refractive index 5 by 3 of thickness 8 cm is placed over a point source of light on a plane surface. It is seen that light emerges out of the top of surface of the slab from the circular area of radius capital R cm. What is the value of capital R here? So in this question here capital R is taken as the radius try to understand from this equation here tan C which is equal to capital R divided by H and R is the radius we have to find so R which is equal to H into tan C here H is equal to given as 8 centimeter we have to find the tan c how we can find with the help of relation between the critical angle and the 
refractive index of the glass slab. The value is given a refractive index of mu is equal to 5 divided by 3 according to the question. Okay, so now here you know sin c which is equal to 1 by mu here sin c which is equal to 1 divided by 5 by 3 the value of sin c which is equal to 3 divided by 5 for this considering like this here so this is the critical angle that is you know 37 degrees for this only we will get 3 4 and 5 this is opposite side adjacent side and hypotenuse try to understand here for sine c that is opposite by hypotenuse this triangle rectangle triangle based on the given value only so now here considering next tan c value so that is tan c which is equal to that is opposite divided by adjacent sign 3 divided by 4 the these values are replacing in the above equation that is r which is equal to h tan c is the basic equation so r which is equal to 8 centimeter into tan c value is 3 by 4 that is 2 so here r which is equal to 6 centimeter is the answer now one example a liquid of a refractive index 1.5 is poured into a cylindrical jar of radius 20 centimeter up to a height of 20 centimeter a small bulb is lighted at the center of the bottom of a jar find the area of the liquid surface through which the light of the bulb passes into air see here we have to find the area what we have to find here area is asking so the area formula which is equal to pi r square here r is the radius of the circular base of the inverted cone try to understand here so then area which is equal to pi into r value is h square divided by r square value that is mu square minus 1 here just r value is replacing try to understand so now here h is equal to 20 centimeter is given that is equal to 0 0.2 meter and mu is equal to 1.5 given that is constant you no units for this now taking the values substituting in the above equation the area which is equal to pi into h value is 0 0.2 whole square divided by 1.5 whole square minus 1 after that solving this the value is 1.005 meter square is the area of the circular base of the inverted cone